It's your boy Zach, aka Zach with an E, aka Snake Dog D O Double G, aka Don't Answer, and I'm here today with my air fryer wing recipe. So basically, what you see here is I just cut off all the wing tips and oriented and organized them in this fashion, and I separated the last two right here just to use it as a test run. We lathered these babies in that olive oil, lay that olive oil, you got it right. Next, move on to the seasoning. We started with Italian seasoning, and then we moved on to garlic pepper, and then we moved on to onion powder. Following this step, we dipped all the pieces into the air fryer and got that all organized so that all the wings was laying very flat so that way they could cook evenly on the top and bottom. We got 400 degrees Fahrenheit cooking for 16 minutes, 8 minutes on each side. Next, we grabbed Uncle Ben's rice, and the instructions is on the back how to cook that. Um, I don't know why Uncle Ben is associated with somebody named Jasmine. I'm sure he's married. But anywho, go ahead and take the chicken out the air fryer and flip it over after eight minutes. This will allow us to get an even golden crispy on both sides. Next, we go ahead and add the rabbit food. Celery goes great with wings, um, so it's a good addition to the meal. Remember, you in your own kitchen, and you're cooking to your own likeness. So if you want it to be more crispy... You got to put it in there for more time. Me personally, I added another five minutes because it was still not consistent with the golden crispy that we was looking for. So next step is basically transferring the chicken over to the container where we're going to do our little shake. You know what I'm saying? BW Dub shake. We got a little red hot buffalo wing sauce. Dragged it, OD. But anywho, go ahead, take that sauce, pour it in. I kind of poured a lot by mistake, but it is what it is. Get it in there, clamp the container, shake it, shake it, shake. And you basically get this nice, wet consistency of a sauce that is coated on the wings. And as you can see, steamy, good deliciousness right here. It's just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So here I just showed y'all what kind of like a meal prep version of this would look like. Um, prepared the celery right here, a little rabbit food on the side. Then I got my wings and my rice, you know, partitioned by this Betty Crocker container. And thumbs up for good. So let's give it a little taste test. Me personally, I like blue cheese. I don't know about y'all. Me gusta queso de azul. Yep, it's fully cooked, as you can see. It's more on the crispier side. A little taste of rice. That's good. Celery could be better. It just tastes like dirt and grass. But yeah, overall I had a good time. Look at this graveyard. Nigga left no food. <laughs> Jesus. Lastly, I do want to stress the importance of cleaning while you cooking and being clean because I've seen some of y'all kitchens and it's ridiculous. But otherwise, thanks for tuning in to K9 Cooking with your boy Zach. Because we're in the kitchen making dog food, you heard? We out here. I'll see y'all next time.